Hi, this is Deb from Deb's Days Designs and I'm back today with a unique bunting project. Today we're making this cute to go coffee cup bunting. Use it as a fun way to decorate your space at home or work. It would even be a great addition to a coffee station or a coffee bar. Before I get started, I publish new content frequently, so be sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel and check out the blog at debsdays.com where you'll find plenty of sewing and crafting projects. It's also where you'll find a link to the written version of this pattern with step-by-step -step instructions, photos, and the printable template. And since it's a digital download pattern, you can get started on your very own coffee cup bunting today. I've added a link in the description below this video. All right, let's get this project started. Along with your regular sewing supplies for this project, you'll need different fabrics for the cups, fabric for the hanging ribbon, batting, pinking shears, and don't forget the printable template. First, cut the light colored fabrics into two and a quarter inch strips. Place a strip of decorative fabric and a strip of light colored fabric together with the right sides of the fabric facing each other. Stitch along the long edge using a quarter inch seam allowance. Stitch the other light colored fabric onto the other long side of the decorative fabric. Do the same with all your other fabrics. Press the seams towards the darker fabric. Place one of the sewn fabric pieces with the right side of the fabric facing down. On top, place a layer of batting. Fold the other half of the fabric over on top of the batting with the right side of the fabric facing up. Match up the seams on the front and back pieces and pin across the seam. And cut out your templates and arrange a template on the fabric at least an inch away from the fabric's edge, making sure the dotted lines of the template are aligned with the fabric seams and pin in place. Place the other templates on the fabric about one inch from the first. Rough cut around the templates about half an inch from the paper's edge. Stitch each cup by sewing around the outside of the template very close to the edge of the paper. Make sure your needle's in the down position when pivoting at the points. Follow the same steps to cut and sew cups from the other pieces of fabric and batting. And use pinking shears or a pinking blade to trim a quarter inch to half an inch outside the stitching lines. To make a hanging ribbon, cut the fabric into three inch strips and sew them together and make one long strip. Fold both short ends of the strip under half an inch and press it. Fold the strip in half lengthwise with the wrong sides of the fabric facing each other and press to make a crease. Open it back up. Fold one side to the midpoint crease and press it. Fold the other side to the midpoint crease and press it. Fold the entire piece over and press it. Top stitch about an eighth of an inch from the edges all the way around and across the hanging ribbon. Place the cups along the strip, spacing them and arranging them as desired. Use fabric clips or pins to hold them in place. Then secure the cups to the hanging ribbon by stitching over the top of the cup's previous stitching. And just like that, you have this fun to go coffee cup bunting to decorate with. If you'd like to see more projects like this one with digital patterns you can print at home, check out the blog at debsdays.com. I've added a link in the description below this video. See you next time with another project.